Welcome to Ella's Beef Easter's Radio Air Check and Classic TV Channel. Chris Evans at virginradio.co.uk for your golden oldies tell. Rachel White's the track that takes you back. Certainly take the Rolling Stones from Mr. Branson. You can also go to the Virgin Radio UK app, Virgin Radio, and our pages go there. Uh, so how do you listen to the radio? How are you listening to this show now? Please do tell us, Chris. I have my phone all set up to receive. Uh, Chris and the team on Virgin Radio. Uh, great to hear you back on the radio. And just a sublime start to the show with Rich Dashcroft as well. Uh, my Monday is already complete. Well, you win them. We always say this. You win the morning. You win the day. You win Monday. You're pretty much on the way to winning the week. But there's that first 20 minutes that we talked about. Uh, before Christmas. The first, when you wake up, apparently there's this thing, and I've got to read more about it, but it's about your subconscious mind and your conscious mind uh, coming together. And they come together at their most receptive and their most collaborative tw- for the 20 minutes after you wake up or uh, for the 20 minutes between your waking and your waking up and then being awake. And apparently that's sort of when, you know, if you think yourself as a computer, that's when you are um, unconsciously programming your mood for the rest of the day. And one of my favourite phrases now probably for life uh, that came out of last year and a lot of reading was we don't see the world as it is we see see the world as we are so you can see you know you wake up in an amazing uh, mood uh, you know sort of blindingly sunny disposition the world is fantastic you get out of the bed the wrong side same day it's it's the worst day imaginable okay so so that's what we're here for. We do know, we try and nudge you, you know, and by the way, you, you nudge us back via your text, you know, to, towards the pluses and not the minuses of a day. And that, that's why we're here. That's what we're here for. And so thank you so much. And by the way, you know, Richard Ashcroft really did open the show. That wasn't a joke in that text. Melanie was not joking. Melanie from Wiltshire doesn't joke about Richard Ashcroft <laughs> opening brand new radio shows. Richard Ashcroft opened this show with a full band at half past six this morning but he'll be back to play five more songs because uh, he played on the old show just the week the week we were finishing he said he said uh, do you want me to come and uh, come and open the new show I said would you he said love to mate love to see you there and that was it and then he, then he went and then he the, the next time I saw him was like I don't know an hour and a half ago so thanks to Richard Ashcroft and what's really funny about our building uh, the, the building right now it houses three and a half thousand people and they're all smiling Almost, almost. I mean, you know, okay, I, I won't exaggerate too much, but they're almost all smiling. All They're all happy. It's a happy building. It's a really happy building where happy people do do things that they, they enjoy on a daily basis. It's amazing. Um, but Rich Dashcroft, of course, um, playing now, uh, you, you know, playing throughout the show till 10 o'clock, he plays outside our studio, but we have new neighbours. Of course we do. We have new neighbours. And, and to our right, it, and it's the wall behind where we are now, and it's only a few feet away, is the Times literally, 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 the Times literary supplement. And uh, when they get in this morning, because we're on till 10, they'll, they'll, they'll be having Richard Ashcroft with their first cappuccino of the day. The neighbours, the noisy neighbours next door, yeah, but talented. <laughs> you know, noisy neighbours are all right as long as they're talented and it doesn't get better and more sort of than Richard Ashcroft. So that's, that's, that's to Richard's right, to my left, as I look over the Thames. Uh, above us, above us, we have Harper Collins. Okay. Underneath, we have the CEO of the whole company. And she, she, she doesn't mind a bit of rock and roll. She's been headbanging since, well, she was the first. She led the headbanging this morning, so she's happy. Uh, but um, but so, so that's that's the building we're in. But Vassos, t- t- tell, tell everybody where we are in London, where this energy is coming from. So we are, we're on the 14th floor of this 17-floor building. We're 14 floors above the River Thames in the city of London, just on the South Bank, next door to the Shard. In fact, our building is often called the Mini Shard. If you're passing, it's the big glass one with news written on top in big letters. Immediately below us, actually, what looks like a model railway, the trains many metres below coming in and out of London Bridge Station. They're curiously hypnotic to watch. Uh, Across the river, on the other side of the grand old Thames meandering its way through London, uh, various big office buildings with funny names. We have the walkie-talkie, the cheese grater, the gherkin. But, you know, this is one of the most, the most iconic beautiful cityscapes in the world. Further right, further east, 
um, as the sky reluctantly gives up its darkness, kind of like a, look outside, it's like a teenager clinging on to the duvet. When it finally gets a bit lighter, we will be able to see Tower Bridge and to our left, the Houses of Parliament. So I'm sorry if we sound a little, I don't know, no, smug, it's just so but we beautiful. are very, very lucky. Can you all very, come and visit grateful. us? One yeah. day. You all come Please do. and visit us. Don't know, hopefully we'll get, in the end, in the end, you know, we'll have lots, lo loads, loads, I mean, apparently the li li listing is going very well and um, increased listing is going very well um, since it was announced we were coming here and we, we are so grateful for that and thank you very much indeed but one day we'd like to invite you all here because it's so nice it's just so nice that's what's going on on the outside on the inside we're playing songs like this okay I've got a little quiz for you you may know about this if you've been listening to Virgin anyway whose little brother whose little brother ladies and gentlemen whose little brother and Vasos you can play this okay. whose little brother is this I got a real wild cat Oh, yes, please. How good is this? 40 minutes to eight. Uh, Jackie, Steve, Maureen, that's for you. Uh, listening on Virgin uh, on the UK app via mobile phone in Tenerife. Happy New Year. Great start to the new show. Great to have you. Thank you. Very long text here from Kerry. Right, DAB. Uh, you caused mayhem in our flat this morning. Two DAB radios, one in the kitchen and one in the lounge. Both are playing at different times. Well, they do that. I mean, they're very sort of um, of their own mind, DAB radios, but they do work. We're in the lounges ahead, so we're hearing you double. That counts double, figures wise. Um, what else is going on? Uh, tell, tell your friends, uh, tell your mum, dad, tell your cats, tell, tell your cats, your dogs, and uh, and your goldfish, and Tel Aviv. Uh, Chris, so good to have you back from Tel Aviv. Uh, listening from a small town now near Tel Aviv in Israel uh, through my work computer. Really missed the show during the break, but we are back, back, back now. It's our longest break ever uh, from doing the breakfast show for the last 10 years, four weeks, but we are back now. I'm back till at least May. Rachel's going to be off, I think, in the next three minutes for like a, a year or something, because she'd already booked a holiday. Vasos, how long are you staying for? I'm staying. Yeah, no, yeah, no, sorry, I know we're staying. You can't, you can't get rid no, of me. We're staying that generally, easy. but I mean, how long for the first one? I run? have no holiday booked. We're good. I'm going to stay until at least May. Yeah, let's do that. And this Sunday morning thing, we'll talk about that later. Cool. Okay, anyway, the point is uh, 10 tons, that song, but I love that song. It's called Better Than Me. It's by an act, a guy who's called 10 tons. He calls himself 10 tons. Okay, he's one person, but he calls himself 10 tons. It's not a bandit's person. Okay, and he's somebody's famous little brother. Have a guess whose okay. little brother he is. I have three guesses here. Okay. Um, Richard Hawley? Well, he does sound like Richard Hawley. That's, that's a great guess, especially from you, with your musical ears, <laughs> Vassos. Uh, but no. Okay. Mm -hmm. Edwin Collins? Very good again. Very good. I get that. I get where you're coming from, but no. But, so you're going for the sound. Uh, you're going okay. For, you're going for the, for the musicality, and you're going for, for, for the timbre of the voice. Is it? Go on. Is it? Mm -hmm. is it? It's not Richard Ashcroft's younger brother, is it? It could be, couldn't it? Is it? No, it's not. It's George Ezra's. Is it? George Ezra's little brother, 10 tons. And, you know, that song is so good. And on Virgin Radio, we can do things like this. Let's just play it again. Let's just play it again straight away. Come on. Give me a second. I, I need to get my story straight. My so what we'll do now, why don't we just play that song every morning at the time we played it this morning? Uh, can we get him on? Can we get him? Well, I mean, what? A, I love that song so much. Uh, Christian play, I think, first. Uh, the bar closes on Saturday morning, I think. Down, on Virgin I'll Radio. Carry you home tonight. Beautiful, we are young from fun. Okay, so uh, we are on Virgin Radio from now on for as long as they will have us. And Scott, my new big boss, actually, he's not hes not the biggest of cheeses, but he's definitely on the main cheese counter. Uh, he said, great. I said, I said how's it? What do you think? He said, this is just what we wanted. It's exactly what we wanted. Um, I said this to him as I was sprinting to go for a pee because the toilet is miles away. Uh, that's the. I mean, that's the only thing we haven't catered for. <laughs> the toilet is a lot. No, no need. No need to get to download the Virgin Money London Marathon Training Plan this year, Vassos. Just drink plenty of water. Yeah. Stay on this show and and dart to the toilet every now and again. And we What's are the record? Of a certain age. Well, yeah, I'm more of a certain age than you. But anyhow, <laughs> uh, and anyway, no, everybody's everybody's very happy. And we got a three year contract here. I got a three year contract here. I said, what do you what do you think? So, well, let's let, let's do five. Let's let's make it five. So we're going to do that. So we're going to break bread after the show. We're going to we're going to we're going to make it five. We're going to go to the pub for a post-first uh, uh, show um, um, debrief. Well, let's call it that, shall let's we? Let's call it a debrief. And then we'll, 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 what happens tomorrow? I have no idea. Uh, right, James Corden has been on. James, good morning. He said uh, when he sent this, it's 11.36 p.m. So that will have been at 7.36 p.m. 
Uh, he's over in Los Angeles. Uh, tucked up in bed listening to uh, Chris Evans' first morning show at, uh, at Virgin Radio UK. He sent this on Twitter. Making me feel incredibly homesick and yet warm and fuzzy at the same time. James, still rocking America. Good morning, James. Good morning, James. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, thank you to everybody for everything. Uh, so much to talk about, but we got big guests on all week this week. Huge guests uh, like the Friday shows of old, but every single day this week and live music every day this week too. And the sport with Vassal. Now, we don't uh, tend to go on about this much, honestly, but for new listeners, first of all, thank you for your ears. Uh, Chris is a Liverpool fan. Chris, you support Liverpool. I'm a Fulham fan. And actually, both clubs very much at the forefront of the sports news on this, our first morning. Thank you very much, Fess. Honestly, I, I feel for you, for you and Fulham. No, but we'll be fine. Claudia <laughs> said so. I'm just, I'm just saying. The Chris Evans Breakfast Show <laughs> with Sky. Last kick of the game. Ouch. Virgin Radio Travel. With Rachel. On the M6 in Staffordshire, northbound junction 16 Stoke-on-Trent to 17 for Sandbatch. The road was closed for earlier emergency repairs. It has reopened, but we've still got a lot of traffic that needs to clear. Congestion is back to Keel services. More travel in half an hour. Thank you very much, Rachel. Eli? Yes, Noah? Do you know why Dad leaves the house at four o'clock every morning? Because he's a zookeeper? No. Because he's a baker? No. Is he a secret fish? No, it's so he can present the Virgin Radio breakfast show. Ah, uh, I was going to say that. Was he really? No, not really. <laughs> the Chris Evans Breakfast Show. This morning from 6.30. Virgin Radio. Beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are live on Virgin Radio. They said it would never happen again, but they were wrong. How wrong could they have been? Um, but say good morning to them anyway. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, on the way, on the programme, we have Rob Becky and Ramesh Ranganathan. They're going to be here. They're going to be talking about <laughs> their brand new Sky Show. Starts Friday, 25th of January. 9pm Sky One. Also on the show today, after I thought Faye Ripley's going to be here. Faye, superstar, of course. Huge, huge superstar. And currently starring in the eighth series of Kofi, along with the regular gang. And tonight we see episode two of that, which she majors in. And a huge mascara warning on the way for that one, ladies and gentlemen. Also with this morning, Paul Whitehouse live again. We're on till 10, don't forget. Uh, Paul talking about uh, starring in and writing, creating the whole shebang that is the brand new Only Fills and Horses a musical. Uh, but working hardest this morning and he's been rehearsing all weekend for this and we can't thank him enough Richard Ashcroft and his band they open the show at 6.31 this morning with Lucky Man and they're playing five more live songs for us between now and 10 o'clock this is Virgin Radio Monday morning 21st of January 2019 it's 8 o'clock can you play the news jingle in for me please go on <laughs> oh just more of this DAB Digital Radio, on the app and on virginradio.co.uk. This is Virgin Radio. And Rachel Horn. Our top stories this morning. Theresa May is understood to be preparing to announce changes to the controversial fallback arrangements for the Irish border as part of her alternative plan for Brexit. And Poundland has upset environmental campaigners by selling a novelty Valentine's gift, which consists of just an empty plastic packet. The heart-shaped item has the label... The gift of nothing, exactly what you asked for. And the weather, some bright spells, windy in the north, rain and hill snow in Scotland. That's your news at four minutes past eight on Virgin Radio. Thank you, Rachel. On digital radio, on the app, and on Sky Channel 0215, this is Virgin Radio. You know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. 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 Your eggs in the morning. I like mine with a kiss. 
So this is the Virgin Radio Break Show, broadcasting live from central London, overlooking Tower Bridge and Borough Market and the River Thames with a brand new gang uh, on the 14th floor. But here's the thing. This is temporary. This is our temporary accommodation, and it's gorgeous. We're moving up to the 17th floor in April, uh, which we couldn't be more excited about. Uh, this morning, uh, how did we start the show? People are saying... What's the first song you're going to play? I say, hey, I don't play songs, I press buttons. I'm a disc jockey. Uh, musicians, uh, genuinely hugely talented uh, human beings, actually play music. Rich Ashcroft was here to play our first ever song on the brand new Virgin Radio. Lucky man, he played for us at 6.31. And he's still here now. Good morning again, Rich. Good morning, Chris. How are you? Fantastic. Can't thank you enough for this. It's a pleasure, mate. <laughs> it it's was your pleasure. idea as well, wasn't it? <laughs> it was kind of my idea. Because, yeah, I was, um, you know, I think uh, we did a little something a few weeks ago, I seem to remember, that went well. <laughs> It's been very and well. um, why not? It's live, live. It's your, it's a new beginning, a new start. It's quite exciting. Commercial radio with no adverts. I'm into that. Okay, cool. Uh, well, uh, you have um, your new single out. That's when I feel it. It's out now. Um, Natural Rebel also out now. UK and Ireland headline tour starts in Portsmouth on Good Friday, the 19th of April. So it's all good in the Ashcroft hood. What are you going to play for us next? So all good, man. I'm going to play this dedicated to all my white van drivers. Anyone going he heading anywhere they're not particularly happy about, but they've got to bring the bacon home. This one's called Bittersweet Symphony. Thank you. <laughs> Save me a steak bake, boys. <laughs> You know it's good when the BVs are, are applauding the band and the band's applauding the BVs and Rich is smiling from ear to ear yeah. or headphone to headphone. You having <laughs> a good time, Rich? Great time, mate. What about the audience as well? <laughs> Amazing audience. It's amazing. This, this is the way to wake to up. To be this, live, live. Have, this is proper thing. live, isn't it? Yeah. Proper live. And as you say, ad-free thanks to Sky. We are ad-free till 10 o'clock every morning from 6.30 right here on the Virgin Radio Breakfast Show. On the way, we have Rob Beckett and Ramesh Ranganathan talking about Rob and Ramesh versus you. Usain Bolt, Faye Ripley's going to be here, Paul White is going to be here, more from Richard Ashcroft. I know. It's crazy, everyone. It's just, they said it would be. And you know what? They were right. Where are you? What are you doing? How are you listening? Text us all that on 87222. Playing live for us. Katie Tunstall, Wednesday, The Kooks, Thursday, Texas, Friday, Paul Heaton and Jackie Abbott's going to be here. And guess all the way all the week too. How are you listening? Where are you listening? Chris, I picked up a new car yesterday. Uh, we have two people who've actually bought new cars to listen to the show. And they were not coincidental purchases. Uh, they bought the cars because they thought, well, I need, a I need a digital radio. Okay, how do we... Okay, I'll get a new... We'll just get a new car. Uh, I know one guy who bought a new car for his wife under those uh, very auspices. Uh, those... That was the situation with him too. Picked up my new car yesterday. Uh, first thing I asked was, how did you get Virgin Radio? Uh, Helen Harris picked. Um, welcome, Chris Evans. Driving to work is a pleasure once again. Chris, listening to your new show on the Skybox now. Thanks to Sky for having Channel uh, 0215, uh, Channel 215 ready in time. Uh, we love the energy. Uh, you like Radio Vitamin C. Well, I suppose Vitamin B, in a way. Uh, from Anne Hunter. Um, we have new listeners for you, Chris. We've had babies. Uh, yeah, please do have as many more humans as you can. Just have more babies. Um, just to get our figures up there, we'll go to the furthest of extremes and probably no more than that. Uh, good morning to the team. Welcome back to the Airwaves. Um, we've just arrived at Stoke Mandeville Hospital. A big Virgin Radio hello, please, to our twin babies. Welcome to uh, them to the world. Uh, send my love to my beautiful wife. Can't wait to be a daddy to our little miracle, says Paul and Anna Port. Well, good luck, guys, with that. Uh, keep all your texts coming. Where are you listening around the world? We are available on Virgin Radio 100% of the time across 100% of the world. As is um, the brand new programme on Sky from Rob Beckett and Ramesh Ranganathan. Joining us now, these two guys, two comedians, who collided 10 years ago on the comedy circuit and I suppose in many ways fell in love. And then they chose to test their love by 
Hood winking some commissioning editor into paying for them to travel the world. <laughs> Is that what happened, gentlemen? Uh, a little bit. Um, no, um... Unfold your arms, talk to me properly. Oh, I'm okay. <laughs> yeah. I've had, uh, to be honest with you, I've had too much coffee and I'm trying to brain myself in. And you had in. Richard Ashcroft as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, and been, a, it's been pretty surreal. There's it? about 100 people out there. I, I thought know. you were, I was listening on the way in. I thought you was lying about like a crowd and an audience yeah. and playing sort of fake like cheering. But there's about 100 people in that office. Is that everyone that works at the station? Yeah, well, we do, we do have fake things we can play in. Like that. Yeah, that, yeah. 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 But there is genuinely about 100 so, people so, out there. So, here's Rob Beckett. Hang on a second. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> oh, that, I should have that as an alarm clock. It's all right, isn't it? it feels good. <laughs> Thank you both for getting up so early. No worries. Rob's oh. had a lot of coffee. I'll be honest with you. Yeah. He's on the edge here. Of being well, he's pretty lively at the worst of times. Oh. Yeah, I know. Isn't exactly. He? he needs I, a sedative. I can't, I can't contain myself. And you had to put up with him around the world for most of last Correct. year. Correct. So this is Rob and Ramesh. Episode one of You Going Around the World is Rob and Ramesh versus Usain Bolt. Okay, yeah. so you go to Jamaica... Okay, yeah. I watched the show last night in bed with my little boy who's nine, <laughs> and you didn't tell me about the swearing. Thanks for that. Sorry about yeah, that. Yeah, it's not so, at nine, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. He heard some words in a different context to which he'd ever heard them before, um, and he told his mum. Yeah, I like oh, to okay. think we use them creatively. Yeah, well, you don't. <laughs> and um, <laughs> <laughs> so, so the gist. So, I'm, I'm figuring the rest of the series goes similarly. You arrange to in- interview somebody who's amazing, right? Yes. Some inspirational figure, and many of them around the world. Then you get to where they might be, but you get there really early so you can have a right laugh. Um, uh, yeah, we, we, we get the, no, to assimilate to their world. <laughs> so we met Usain Bolt, we'll also meeting Shania Twain later on, and some yeah. uh, uh, Anthony Joshua was part of it, and the NFL and things yeah. like that. Yeah. But yeah, we get there and get immersed in their world. But what I would say is, because I get a bit annoyed, when you see, like, friends, like, that go on these shows and it looks yeah. like just a holiday, we do forced ourselves through our booking and the producer's booking and doing a crazy challenge at the end which is way out of our comfort zone and I would not put that down as a, a holiday type thing yeah, so but, but before that the bit where you're lying on a bed drinking pina coladas in front of the ocean yeah but Chris yes. we're doing that we're doing that to give the show a lift I didn't want to do that yeah do you know what I mean like, we did I, want I, that. I said to them <laughs> I said to him, if I've got to do it, I will do, mate. Do you but, know what I mean? Well, you saw the end of it, and we had to perform a dance hall routine on live Jamaican television in front of like a live audience, and that was horrendous. Yeah, but you, are you prepared for it? I mean, you, you, you went to rehearsal, you met the, the people who do I this. I know that, but it still doesn't make it. You, you went to find your inner rhythm. Yeah. I, I found. <laughs> oh, that's the thing, isn't it? Because Rob sort of calls it assimilating, I call it dangerously close to cultural appropriation. <laughs> Yeah, I'll that's tell you the what, truth though, of it. I did get really get into the sort of Jamaican culture. Yeah. I, in an unacceptable way. Yeah, but everyone's like real <laughs> so chilled out there. I started walking slow when yeah, I come yeah. home and nearly got trampled. I was on the half shoe. expecting him to get dreads for him. <laughs> it was so embarrassing, man. It was like, honestly, I was just like, dude. If my hair was long enough, I would have gone yeah. for it. And then the other thing is he starts doing the accent. And he starts, I did not can't. do the accent. He did, 100%. I did not do the accent. He can Come deny on. it now, but he it did. Wasn't, well, no. it didn't make the final cut, thing. No, of course not. Of course not. <laughs> so, no. so, you two met 10 years ago. Now, when comedians collide, it, yeah. can, go, it can go well, it can go horribly. Obviously, you, you two, you know, you set up on the right foot. Where yeah. did you meet? Where was the first time you set eyes upon each other? Oh, I, I would have been an open mic, a terrible open mic gig in London somewhere where yeah. we were both like um, awful. awful, but <laughs> the better side of awful. There were worse people there than us. Yeah. And I think we get on though because we're very different, so we complement each other. And also, I think we're never going to nick work off each other. No. What's, very funny, what's very funny about your relationship, which I know from seeing you both before, but also from the TV show, is that you're the salesman of your relationship yeah, yeah. and then you mitigate everything he says. Yes, correct. Yeah, that's basically how it works. I mean, when we first met, I've got to be honest with you, I I didn't I didn't really like Rob. Like he's got he's That's got a, no, no, I don't, Yeah, I've told you this. He's got an he's got an energy that I find irritating. But then once you get beyond that, you need me. I don't need to you. Pick I don't you, you, I need you. I don't say I need you. you. Need, well, the thing is, my problem is, I've never met anyone that's not liked me. And I'm aware there no, are no, no, people... No, 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 you've not, you've no, not no, met no. anyone that's but not told finish. you that I like Yeah, me. exactly. But right. I can't pick up on if someone don't like me. Yeah. I think we're all best mates. Yeah. So I probably have met people that don't like me, but I'm not very good at no, but picking I, up you on could, it. You could tell him directly, Chris. You could, oh, he said, he said he hates me, but it's just banter, isn't it? <laughs> no, I, I do like you. I, th- I think you're irrepressible. Yeah, I'm relentless. Very well done. Nice, nice. Okay, so that's what Ramesh really thinks of you what do you think of Ramesh I, I, I love Ramesh we're best we're yeah, but best what do you mates, think of him that's, that's just an emotion what do you think of I him I think he's a good dad and a good person <laughs> and uh, and he tries hard at comedy oh my god <laughs> <laughs> oh no I genuinely though I think Ramesh is brilliant and this show we've done I think it's one of the best shows I've done so on you go around the it's world. definitely the best one he's done you, you, there meet, we go. <laughs> you meet all these people <laughs> yeah. uh, and you kick off with with, uh, with you saying, your interview with, with Usain Bolt mm. which yeah. is on this Friday mm. is a brilliant interview I, I, can I say one 
genuinely. I, no, genuinely. Can I say one thing? I just thought I would have liked a little bit more of the interview. You know, or maybe you can go and watch the full one later on yeah, some kind of yeah. website or, you know, how that works. But I thought, I'm no, because he really, he, you know, you really made him laugh. Yeah. yeah. But you didn't talk all over him. And you asked some, you know, it, it, there are some fantastic questions in there. Well, yeah. I, I think one of the reasons why it might be shorter was because I was <laughs> a bit nervous and excited and I asked him about 15 questions in a minute. I'm going to say this. So, and so he went obviously, to stop asking yeah, all the questions. Because we, we went to, the whole thing is we're going to Jamaica. It's not, it doesn't come cheap, Chris. Rob insists on first class. No. So, like, we go to Jamaica and the whole thing centers around the Usain Bolt interview, right? So, we're chatting to him and he's sort of like pretty chilled out at the beginning. It's Usain and, Bolt, by yeah, the way. Yeah, and Rob, the most famous man on the planet. Rob, Rob burns through 75% of our questions within a minute and a half like of the a shop, interview. Like a shopping yeah, list. Yeah, absolutely smashes through it. So, the Olympics were good, weren't it? And the celebration. And, um, yeah, yeah but no, what, you did that thing. You did that thing where you don't ask a question, you just read out the preparation notes. Yeah. And within yeah. them, are all the answers. Yeah, 100%. So, you won the Olympics? So yeah, I did. Okay. It was so, so, then we just started like freaking out a bit. Yeah. But I, I sort of panic at the start, but then I get quite comfortable quite quickly and then I start saying things that might offend them. And no, it, no, it's it was good. It's really, and you should do it more together. You really work. Honestly, it's, I think, you know, that double interview thing, when it, when it, when it's, when it works, well, it really works better than anybody doing it on their own. Yeah, oh. well, I think, I think it sort of helps. That, I do think being mates helps because like you're not trying to fight with each other at all. Do you know what I mean? We just sort of, we've got the dynamic sorted and then you go and meet people and it's just fun. All right, Rob Ramesh versus Usain Bolt. More about that after Katie Tunstall. Times Literary Supplement are considering rock and roll as a future feature, perhaps. They've just heard about it now. They, they, they're getting very excited. The boss, she's downstairs on the um, 13th floor. Uh, Katie Tunstall playing live for us on this show uh, tomorrow. We are ad-free because of these very nice people. The Chris Evans Breakfast Show with Sky Q. The best entertainment all in one place. Gentlemen, uh, Robin Ramesh, do you have Sky Q? Uh, yeah, I do. You do? Multi-room, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> it is multi-room, yeah. Sometimes I pull something and go in another room to watch it, not because I want to, just because I can. <laughs> Rachel, just to enjoy yourself. Yeah, yeah, Rachel, yeah. you don't have it yet, but you're getting it. Tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. Ooh, you, you're getting the, yeah. vi the VIP squad in, the hit squad. Yeah, I mean, it's, okay, the, it's the main in, reason I took the job. <laughs> lots, of ch lots of chucky bickies, yeah? yeah? Lots of chucky bickies, yeah. lots of cups of tea, yeah. coffee, all that kind of yeah. stuff. Uh, but it, honestly, if you, I know, I know, I know they're paying us, and that's how it works. There are commercial partners. But if you, honestly, it's fantastic. It's amazing, and you can watch uh, Rob and Ramesh's uh, show on Sky, uh, via Sky Q or just Sky, uh, this Friday evening. They are up against Usain Bolt. Now, when you say Rob and Ramesh versus Usain, mm. um, how, how far are we going with that? Uh, uh, well, it's not. It's not a physical fight. No, <laughs> a bit of posturing. <laughs> And bags, but but um, it is actually you said Bolt in, in it Jamaica. Is. Yeah, well, yes. we, we interview him and we try and you know live his life as it were. So we do you know try, run in training and stuff yeah. like that and get into dance hall, which he loves, mm -hmm. and uh, and stuff like that. So it's, it's sort of verses in a sort of getting in their head way. It is. It is. Uh, now Rachel, of course, is married to a very famous comedian herself, mm. Mm. Mr. Mm. Mr. Alex Horn. Yeah, who you, you're both aware of. Yeah, he's a. I love yeah. Alex. He's a genius. Oh, do you? Yeah. 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 Do you yeah. honestly he's just, genuinely, you're just saying that? Or no? no, honestly, he's because the Taskmaster show he does is. Like one of the you've been on it. amazing. We've been, we've oh, both, we both, Rob yeah. was in the champion of champions. Yeah, I don't like to blow my trumpet, but I have a uh, one. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's lovely to chat to our guests a bit more while Rachel's here, but I've just realized, um, Ellie, our producer, wanted yeah. me to chat to you after the travel to give. Rachel, the chance to get to the news booth, and I've done all the chat oh. before the travel. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, this is quite fun then. Let's see how quick. Yeah. Good luck, mate. Good well, luck. Like let's, let's keep We're the bowl team going. The Chris Evans <laughs> Breakfast Show with Sky. 829. Virgin Radio. On the M8 in Glasgow City, eastbound, we've got an earlier broken down car at Junction 21, Vermin Street, to Junction 20 for the M74. More travel in half an hour. All right, off you go. OK, bye. OK, uh, ready, steady, go. And there she's... Uh, you have a lots of uh, Usain Bolt footage in it, which gets you very excited about the forthcoming interview, don't you? Mm -hmm. So you have London 2012 and you have other stuff as yeah. well. Um, yeah, well, yeah, we've got the, all the, the highlights of his career, but he's, he's not doing 2020 in Tokyo, is he? Which I still well, yeah, you, tried, you tried to get him to do it. Yeah. You did your best. Well, if he does come out of retirement, I'm taking full responsibility <laughs> on Usain Bolt going for Rob gold. Rob just became obsessed with him doing as if he's got something left to prove. And then Rob started going, it's lazy. He still looked like, quick. He's look, he still looked quick yeah, to me. Yeah, but he doesn't need to do it, Rob. That's Rob yeah, thing. but he don't need to do anything. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So why bother? If, I, I just think, just chill out now. Tokyo's a nice nobody's, place. Nobody's <laughs> going... Nobody. I want to go, I wanna go to Japan. Because, look, Rob, Think a bit of bigger picture, yeah? Imagine, if he does it again, that's an instant recommission for another episode. We can go to Tokyo. 
There is that. I'm trying to use this series really as Actually, a you know what, I haven't thought, thought about it like that. Yeah, so we could yeah. then Some, a follow up episode. Now and again. Now and again. Yeah. 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 Golden, yeah. golden crumbs. I know sometimes. I talk yeah. a lot, but some of it does <laughs> make sense. It's about three to four percent. Tell, of it is we, tried to, we plugged us coming on this this morning on Instagram and I went, one chess and I did it all. I went, are, are we going to be on 8 pm? And I was like, yeah. no, it's 8 am, Rob. Uh, it's TV time. Imagine him on three coffees. <laughs> I mean, it, Have you only had two? Is that all? I feel like I need to lie down. You need to do it. My stomach hurts, my head hurts. <laughs> I'm just so excited. All your inner organs. I'm so over I used to sell compost at this time in the morning. You need so a bit get... of hot yoga, Rob. I'm happy to be warm and talking, Chris. <laughs> my God. <laughs> Uh, I love the fact that this, your, your episode with Usain um, starts with the fact that Rob can't get his head around that Usain has acquired an, uh, all this fame, you know, all this prestige and all this wealth. He says, he only works 10 seconds every four years. <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? What a job. Yeah. Right. Well, I think we've covered enough time for Rachel to get to the booth. <laughs> yeah. 8.32. <laughs> and on virginradio.co.uk, this is Virgin Radio is she there? News. These are your headlines. It's widely predicted that the PM is going to ditch the con- controversial Irish backstop as part of her Plan B for Brexit. She'll address Parliament this afternoon. Economic abuse and controlling behaviour are going to be included in a new definition of domestic abuse. It's part of an overhaul of legislation in England and Wales. Almost half of young women are said to be regularly delaying their smear tests. Joe's Cervical Cancer Trust says many don't go because they feel scared, vulnerable and embarrassed. A report's found graduates taking a job at Aldi could get a starting salary similar to that of some working at top law firms. The budget supermarket's offering a £44,000 a year pay package, which also includes a company car. And Poundland has upset environmental campaigners by selling a novelty Valentine's gift, which consists of just an empty plastic packet. The heart-shaped item has the label, the gift of nothing, exactly what you asked for. Those are your headlines on Virgin Radio. Thank you very much, uh, Rachel. So Rob Beckett and Ramesh are rang an eighth uh, with us. Watch Rob and Ramesh versus Usain Bolt this Friday, 25th of Jan, 9pm on Sky One and Now TV. And it's the first of six episodes of that series, Rob Beckett and Ramesh rang an eighth versus the world. Uh, but of course, they didn't believe uh, that Rich Ashworth was playing live this morning in front of a live audience, did you? No, we didn't. I, on the way in, I just thought it was like, you know, fake radio crowd. But there's about 100 people in well, there. This is real radio. Virgin Radio is real. Yeah. Live and direct, and more now from Richard Ashcroft live uh, from his brand new album. Here we go uh, from a Natural Rebel. This is the brand new single, the song we're playing at the moment here on Virgin. A lot. That's when I feel it, Richard. Thank you. That's awesome. You're really going for it, aren't you, this morning, Rich? Oh, yes, man. It's the only the only gear I've got. Okay, well, this Life's is not it. a rehearsal, Chris. You yeah. know that. So it's on or off. That's Life, it. Life's okay. not a rehearsal. Okay. Uh, Rich and Ashcroft play. Let's give him another. Come on. Yeah, we're in now. here, Rob and Ramesh. And uh, now we're joined by the amazing Faye Ripley. Good morning, Faye. Hi. How are you doing? I mean, I feel like I'm at the best breakfast party ever. Well, you, uh, hopefully you are. <laughs> Let's I put am. that on the posters <laughs> on the A4 all of a sudden because you can now because the digital. Uh, by the way, you, you guys, you must all have experienced this. Okay. So you're driving down the road, you've got a new thing out, uh, and, and the uh, the PR budget, the advertising budget, you know, is uh, more substantial than perhaps you know maybe you're used to. And they pay for billboards of your massive, your own massive face, and they haven't told you about them. And suddenly you drive around the corner, and there you are looking straight back at yourself. You experienced that one? Yeah, I, I, I have. I don't want to show off, but yes, I have. But it's extraordinary, though, isn't it? Um, I do a lot of taking pictures of the picture. So we did. Yeah. We stopped the yeah. car, got outside, and pointed to the <laughs> thing. That's it. The worst is if you're on the train and there's a poster <laughs> of you above your head, and you're sat underneath it. That's worse. It looks like you have chose never, that carriage. I'm never really happy with it, to be honest, because I, it's very I, I, of the photos that have been taken of me. There are probably three where my eyes are looking in the same direction. <laughs> so whenever I see it, I sort of have to I Don't descend into this spiral. It. No. no, because it's like apparently it's my thing. Actually, the se- <laughs> when, I, your when thing. I did when I did Edinburgh, <laughs> when I did Edinburgh, the second time I did Edinburgh, the photographer took one of my eyes yes. and then copied and pasted it onto oh. the other side of my face. And then the next year, it's like Picasso. Yeah. And then the next year, he said, you know what? He said, I think your profile's high enough. We can keep your eyes as it is. And it felt really? like I'd really made... I think it's your thing. You yeah, well, it is now. But yeah, it's uh, your it's best sort of hobby. Made... Yes. Because they've sorted my teeth out on these posters outside here. What's wrong with your teeth? No, they just made nice and white. Oh, right. Yeah. They're really, they're, they're, you know, teeth, you know, how... 
if only you know in real life I mean I'm happy with everything else my um when we were on Virgin Radio first time around when we when we owned the darn place um <laughs> I remember we spent, I, th- I think it, we spent a substantial amount of money on um, sides of buses, you know, sides of buses. And um, I remember we'd been out, um, in, you know, on one of those nights in, in the uh, second half of the 90s. <laughs> and uh, I wasn't allowed on the bus. And as I, as I fell off the bus backwards, um, you know, I literally fell into the gutter and looked up and there, there I was on the side of the bus that wouldn't let me on. <laughs> oh, at least <laughs> I hadn't run you over. Show, showbiz me, he was looking down on real me thinking, yeah. show. <laughs> Stick with the showbiz. <laughs> showbiz is far better. Anyway, Faye, uh, talking to showbiz, you're back on the telly tonight. Kofi, episode two, series eight, second time around. Yeah. Uh, I've talked to Jimmy about this before. Uh, people are liking it. A lot of people are liking it more than the... Uh, you don't have to compare the two, uh, but how is it doing the show the second time around for Faye Ripley? I mean, um, I'm I'm very grateful, mainly. The thing, it's the it? gift that keeps yeah, on giving. That's the thing. Um, I... I just, I slight, well, look, nobody else has sort of done it before in the sense of doing the big show that was on a long time ago and everyone had sort of put to bed and then to come back. So the comeback thing, um, in, I mean, I know bands do it, but uh, radio shows do it. don't do it. But radio shows do it, I guess, thing. yeah. Um, so I'm uh, grateful that we've been given a go and that people aren't laughing at us in, the, in a bad way. Laughing with um, you on occasion. Let's hope so. Um, but it's a very fun uh, thing to be a part of, basically, because they're my mates, and so it's a win-win for me. And know? isn't it funny, that thing about... Because you, you two are in the first flush of youth and success, aren't yeah. you? <laughs> Even though you've been at it for 10 years, there is yeah. no such thing as yeah. an overnight success. There isn't really. Uh, I mean, about 15 years' time, we might be interviewing Colin Jackson about something. Go, yeah, but that, that'd, that'd be fine. Yeah. Yeah. He's a nice guy. And um, and, and so but we, we are back. We're, we're boomeranging, aren't we? We're back, back, back. And the thing is, it is that overwhelming nature of gratitude. And then you yeah. ref- you fall back in love with what you did first time around but much much more than you ever thought you could or ever have done in the past well in the past you in youth you spend your whole time thinking about walking away from it going yeah. i'm just i'm too big for this now yeah. you or, know or what next a, what next what next what next you know yeah exactly you're always now at, at this moment you're very much living in the moment yeah, you know so we've true. worked that out so um so I do sort of go, okay, people still like watching this and people still seem to care. So it's it's good and um, long may it last. It's yeah, good. and it's back, on, it's back on, I'll say, episode uh, two of Series 8 on ITV tonight of Kofi. And the reflection of those thoughts, because the writers are older now and, you know, you're older now and the producer and director... I'm not, are but old, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> older now. But... Um, it, they, th- those sort of challenges, issues, narratives are, are now part of the show, and it's so cool for us lot. I wouldn't call them sort of midlife crisis, but they are the the, the sort of challenges and the issues and the, and the life circumstances that we come across as we sort of so, sort of hit the the other side of the hill that's 40 you know between 40 and 60 I would say now tonight on the show yes we've got to be careful how we talk about this haven't we because we don't want to we don't want to spoil it but you your character tonight my goodness me look uh, uh, Jenny who I play is navigating one of those moments in your life and God knows it's happening to so many people I know right right now now. she's navigating some really scary stuff and um, you know it's recognisable sadly and uh, it is, you know, I was say that this is the one storyline I don't have to research because I just know so many people going through it. So, but hopefully, because it's cold feet, we do it sort of looking at it so that it is watchable. Do you know what I mean? Oh, no, it's, it's more not than too watchable. Pay- painful. I mean, you know, what I love about cold feet is that it's like all great movies if if you think about American Pie I also cite American Pie as far as this is concerned because American Pie is this like you know in your face really big comedy but it's not if you watch American Pie back they spend the first 25 minutes setting everything up and it's there's not there's not a laugh for the first 25 minutes because they have to they have to load the bases and what Kofi does every episode is the first half an hour you know you're loading the base and then it all starts to really sort of ramp up between 9 30 and 10 it's very filmic from that scriptural p- point of view and and tonight you know when you're as i say i don't want to give too much away but it's such a such an emotional such a sort of visceral story um that, that your character inhabits tonight and Talk about a mascara warning. I mean, you know, you act yourself off the screen tonight, I think. Oh, hopefully not completely off the screen well, I, forever. <laughs> no, but I saw it, I saw it last night. Um, and it, there's a moment when you're in your car, and I was say, we won't spoil it forever, but, but some, something happens to, to Faye's character, and then this is the bizarre thing that hit me about it. I don't know. 
what you think and if this was written it's isn't it you know some people are told some some really devastating things in life and then just have to walk out and get back in their car on their own and well, deal with it life is like you know you have to you have to put the bins out do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, and nobody mean, knows what's you what you you know other people in their cars. And they're going on the school run. They're going shopping. But you, it's like you have I, no I idea. I always say that to my husband. I say when he's I like he has the the male road rage thing happens and and I go <laughs> hang on a minute that that person that's just cut you up and tried to smash into your car. Fair enough. Might have been having a really bad day. Who knows what news they are getting, etc. Et I know that's me sounding like a saint, but it is true. We don't know. Everybody, maybe that you know. God knows we all have to deal with so much on a daily basis and then get in the car and go to work or take the kids on the school run or whatever it is. But it's the sort of, you know, there's dramatic stuff going on and everyday stuff all parallel. It's all happening at the same time. Hey, Jimmy Nesbitt, you two met him, James Nesbitt? Yeah, a couple of times. Yeah, yeah, he's a funny guy. And Adam, his character, finally goes to therapy after all these years, doesn't he? Yeah, maybe a bit late. <laughs> I no, don't know. I think, did, Jimmy, did Jimmy introduce this narrative himself? Did he say, therapy? <laughs> no, therapy. I think I think it's like quite. Um, I don't think it sits well on him the therapy thing. I don't think he's been to therapy. Um, but yes, there's a whole sort you of. Think he needs to go. I'm, I'm saying nothing. But no, I tell you what, the, the renaissance of COVID is his therapy, as Absolutely. this is my therapy. Because well, when you get a job out. you love, it becomes your therapy. Doesn't exactly it? right. No, it, there's a there's a whole funny sort of scenario where we all become diff- the characters of the people in the therapy and stuff, and it's it's just having a bit of a laugh. Do you think the storylines are easy to come by? Because life, because you because you know at our age, these are whippersnappers. But at our age, I we're promise she's forty one. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm not 41. I'm well, 40, even if he, so but even if he was 41, not we're not 41. And, according, and according to Wikipedia, I'm 36. Right, so just yeah. relax. Yeah. yeah. When does he want his nappies changing? Yeah. But the, there are. There's more. There's more of life's rainbow to to, to pluck from, isn't there? Well, the idea that that at storylines stop at 40 is pretty ridiculous. They say life begins at 40. Good, good dramatic sitcom begins at 40 as well. Absolutely. There's loads. He's like, you know, yeah. prancing around the world. Yeah, I mean, I'm still having loads of affairs. <laughs> like, this is like, yeah. you know, I haven't, I haven't started haven't yet. Stopped. I'm waiting. Okay. Yeah. Are you? Yeah. 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 Build up yeah. to yeah. that. I've got the marriage to an empty shell and I'll just move on to the next <laughs> By the way, th- th- these two, there's their show that's on on Sky on uh, on Friday at nine o'clock. Very funny. It begins with the fact that um, Rob has booked a double bed for them in their hotel room. I get bored on my own. Yes. Mm. <laughs> it's, I mean, yeah, so there's, funny. there's bored and there's... I, I, how bored do you have to be? I've got my own room. I've always shared. You said how bored you have to be to want to share with Romesh. Is that what you get? No, to, have, to book a double bed right, when, right, when right, a okay. twin room was available. You know this is true. I know. It's okay. not... But yeah, I just like being near him. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Three, three, three. This is Virgin Radio live from the news building on the banks of the River Thames, overlooking London Bridge, equidistant from Tower Bridge. Beautiful morning, Monday, Jan 21, 2019, with us, Rob Beckett and Ramesh Rangan Nathan watch Rob Ber- and Ramesh versus Usain Bolt this Friday the 25th of Jan 9pm Sky 1 the legend that is Faye Ripley is also here with us Kofi Series 8 who would have thought it episode 2 continues tonight at 9pm on ITV catch up on episode 1 do that if you haven't seen it uh, starts off with a wedding nobody knows who it's very good That it's good to start with a wedding isn't it good to finish the show with a wedding but great to start a new series with a wedding come well. on classic yeah, absolutely that's all on the ITV hub Paul Whitehouse is on the way see Paul play the role of granddad in Early Fields and Horses the musical uh, the Theatre Royal Haymarket in London from Saturday the 9th of Feb and Paul joining us after 9 and Richard Ashcroft playing live for us again after the sport and the travel first of all the sport here we have Bass for the guests yes our sports guest this morning our first ever sports guest I'm thrilled to say we have one of my footballing heroes and hands down the best TV pundit bar none good morning and thank you for coming on Gary Neville morning everyone Good morning, morning. Gary. Hey. Uh, Gary, first off, let's um, let's talk about your old club, Manchester United, and your old teammate, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Um, well, wow. Yes. Uh, I think when he came in, I mean, the club couldn't have been any lower in terms of expectation and where it was, the, obviously, feeling around the club, but he's done an incredible job. He's put himself in the frame and he just keeps on winning. I think it's the best starter for any Manchester United manager in history. It's unbelievable, really. It is, yeah. Seven wins out of seven since he took over from Jose Mourinho. Does the manager make that much of a difference then? 
Well, it obviously does. In the modern day, I mean, we've seen Sarri over the weekend at Chelsea questioning the players at Chelsea in terms of their motivation. Manchester United's players towards the end, um, it's plainly obvious now they weren't trying to leg the Jose Mourinho because they've just switched on and off the tap. Um, it's incredible, the difference. And I must admit, I still have my doubts about those players because of that. You know, the idea that they can just go and switch on a tap like that, it doesn't fill me with too much confidence in terms of them being able to take Manchester United back to a title win. But what they are doing at the moment is performing at least to their capabilities. This is, um, I think, a particularly gripping Premier League season. Man City and Liverpool. Not perfect for you, Gary, with your Manchester oh, United connections. No. Manchester City and Liverpool Shocker. vying to win the title. <laughs> Am I allowed to ask you a cheeky question? Who do you want to win the title? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Do you know something? I actually have had, for the first time in the last few weeks, a few United fans saying Liverpool, they want Liverpool to win the title because they don't want City to win back-to-back -back titles and start a period of domination. I mean... I, <laughs> I had to say a few years ago when they were both going for the title, it is like having a choice of which bloke you want to pinch your wife. And... Um, <laughs> It's not changed. It's getting worse. <laughs> um, well, that was some kind of answer, yeah. I suppose. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> um, it's, your, it's, your, it's your first show. It's all right. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, so so uh, Liverpool or Man City? Is we, after that, we we need an answer. I'm sorry. Got to push you now. Um, I'm going I can't bring myself to say Liverpool. I just can't oh, bring myself to say really? it. Really? That's interesting, it, isn't it? It's going to have to be City, I'm afraid. No. Oh, I can't no. believe you said that, mate. Um, <laughs> Gary, I'm going to move on from this. I'm going to ask you one one kind of selfish question, if I may. The big game yesterday was Spurs coming from a goal down to beat Fulham with the last kick of the game. Is there any hope for Fulham, do you think? Uh, look, I watched Huddersfield yesterday. I was at Huddersfield, and Fulham are better than Huddersfield, if that's the consolation. <laughs> we will take it. <laughs> <laughs> well, on that, on that high note, on that uh, joie de vie. Loads of brilliant football coming up for, sunshine. for Gary to get his uh, pundit's teeth into on Sky Sports. The Carabao Cup semi-finals this week. Man City and Burton and Chelsea and Tottenham looking further ahead. All right, uh, just before Richard plays, there's another song. Richard Ashcroft and his band live with us this morning here, live on the 14th floor at the News Building on Virgin Radio. Uh, a couple of questions to Faye and Robin Ramesh. Um, Faye, there's lots of booze in cold feet. Drinking? Yes. Yes. Uh, is it real? Uh, apple juice. Always. Disgusting. Mm. Really yeah. nasty. And at like six, six o'clock, I would way rather have like a wine. Okay. Like actual And that wine. never happens? It never happens. Really? I think, actually, I tell you like in the old days... In the it? old days! <laughs> <laughs> there was, in the old days, there was a little bit of, right. you know, cheeky bit of, like, drizzling a little something So, in. for the old days, see the young days, uh, right, see the the zeitgeist. Let's go to a zeitgeisty couple and a zeitgeisty show. Let's see, were the piqui, uh, pina coladas real in Jamaica with Usain Bolt? Yeah. They were legit. See, that's they the thing. They were legit. Oh, that's that's the thing. Yeah. You can take it that's when you're young. Thing. Yeah, and was it really the best pina colada you've ever had, Romain? Yes, it was, but I've only had four in my life, to be fair. So. Oh, that's not bad, though. Yeah. The setting helps, didn't it? But it yeah, was a good when you're one. in Jamaica, it does add, I'd say, 10 to 15% to the pina colada. You'd say that, would you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would say it's probably about yeah. 10 to 15%. No more than that, maybe 17. <laughs> Don't get us wrong, though. I'd know me way around a pina colada, and that was a different <laughs> level. Yeah. Okay. Um, now, Richard, uh, the last beer you had, you had one beer on New Year's Eve. That's right, yeah. Okay, and before that? Before that was September, yeah. See, this is good, isn't it? What? I don't know. Well, I don't know what's going on because he, he certainly sits well with the budget. I'm a bit of a migraine sufferer, so I was trying to uh, rule them out. So one <laughs> beer in four months. Rock and roll's changed. How yeah. was how was the one beer? It wasn't very good. Mm. It smelt. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. Would you play the drug? Ironically, would you play the drugs don't work for us now, mm -hmm. or rather, on that actually. on that bombshell? Yeah. That's, that's, <laughs> this one's called the beer doesn't work anymore. Richard Ashcroft. Thank you. Thank you, Richard Ashcroft. Thank and you to these great musicians helped me out. <laughs> they with. are amazing. Okay, we'll give them a proper name check in a moment. Or two. Actually, round of applause for the BBs and the band.
the Lord been working really hard this morning. And also to Anthony and to Gareth, who sorted out technically our engineers, who've been absolutely fantastic. Yeah, great job. Yeah, very good job indeed. Okay. And um, by the way, this is why you should go and see Richard and live music generally in your life. Now, if you don't go and see live music, this. Sort of no point in you being here, uh, from time to time at least. Uh, Richard kicks off his UK tour at the Guildhall in Portsmouth on Friday the 19th of April and finishes up at London's Olympia on Saturday the 4th of May. Right. On DAB Digital Radio, on the app and on virginradio.co.uk, this is Virgin Radio it's, uh, News. Just gone nine o'clock, four minutes past nine. It doesn't matter, not between friends. Our our top stories this morning. Theresa May is due to reveal her Brexit plan B today after failing to get her previous proposals through the Commons last week. It saw the PM's looking at changes to the Irish backstop, which aims to prevent a hard border. In the weather, we've got some bright spells. Windy in the north, rain and hill snow in Scotland. That's your news at seven minutes past nine on Virgin Radio. Rachel. On DAB Digital Radio. On the app. And on virginradio.co.uk. This is... It's Virgin Radio. Eli? Yes, Noah? Do you know why Dad leaves the house at four o'clock every morning? Because he's a zookeeper? No. Because he's a baker? No. Is he a secret fish? No, it's so he can present the Virgin Radio breakfast show. Ah, uh, I was going to say that. Was he really? No, not really. <laughs> the Chris Evans Breakfast Show. This morning from 6.30. Virgin Radio. Beautiful, uh, Tom Walker, uh, just you and I. So this is Virgin Radio. We are live for the first time on our brand new breakfast show. Uh, we have guests, we have friends around, we have Richard Ashcroft uh, playing live. And if I can do this uh, correctly for one more time. On DAB Digital Radio, on the app. And on virginradio.co.uk, <laughs> this is Virgin Radio News. No, it's not actually, see, so I couldn't do it right one more time. The Chris Evans <laughs> Breakfast Show with Sky. You got the news there. Do the travel, then do the news. Thanks, Rach. In Travel. Northern Ireland, the M1 has one lane blocked Belfast bound just before Junction 8. Congestion is back to Junction 9 for Moira. Congestion is to Junction 8. That's the A303. All lanes have reopened. More travel in half an hour. Thank you very much, Rachel. And now I'm going to play this. Uh, hopefully I have got this right. Hang on a second. Some went to Billericay, some went to South End, some went to Ebbon and a few went to Ponders End, some went North, some went South and a lot of them went to Kent. Some went to Woking, oh, I'm not joking, some went to Barking, oh, I'm not laughing, some kept walking right past talking, a lot of them went to Kent. Right. Oh, all right, we'll take that. Hang on, we'll take that. That's so that's in the show. That's the Paul Whitehouse original. Uh, yeah, well, Come it's, on. it's, it's, it's hey, great. Some went woke, you know, I'm not joking. <laughs> I mean, I wrote that with Chaz Hodges and talk about is, is it selling coals to Newcastle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chaz, I've got this great idea. Where have all the Cockneys gone? <laughs> oh, I like the sound of that, Paul. I mean, well, you should do. I've nicked it off you, really. Okay. <laughs> Can we play it one more time? So, this is from the musical. Yeah, okay, here we go. Yeah. Some went to Billericay, some went to South End, some went to Ebbon and a few went to Ponders End, some went North, some went South and a lot of them went to Kent. Some went to Woking, oh, I'm not joking, some went to Woking, oh, I'm not laughing, some kept walking right past talking, a lot of them went to Kent. This is good, it's good, isn't it? it. Yeah. It's good, it's isn't it? it? That's yeah. fantastic, Paul. That's just, <laughs> how many songs in the much. musical? How many songs? Well, apparently there's about 20, I think. Really? Chris, but yeah, we, <laughs> some we borrowed. Yeah. Some we've borrowed uh, that are quite sort of uh, appropriate for the series. What, from Beyonce? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, Single lady yeah. came when she heard I was involved. She yeah. went, have what you like, honey. That's how she speaks. Yeah. Can you lot come well, here every incredible. morning? That was an incredible. That was incredible. Yeah, you wow. Yeah, 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 I can see how Jay-Z <laughs> fell for her. Those dulcet tones. <laughs> I have to watch it when I'm round him. I do that in <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, listen, and before before you go, thanks all so much for coming. I hope you've had oh, a nice time. You. It's nice, nice fun. new home, isn't it? Oh, come right, on. And, uh, it's a bit biblical it. out there when it's, you walk in. Yeah. It? Yeah. Yeah. It's fantastic. <laughs> okay, and Richard Ashcroft has been with us this morning. Um, can we just have a, a huge round of applause for Richard Ashcroft and his band? Yeah. Yeah, Richard, there you single. That's when I feel it is taken from his album Natural Rebel. The, they're both out now, and the UK tour. I think it's sold out. Uh, kicks off at the Guildhall in Portsmouth on Friday the nineteenth of April, and it finishes at London's Olympia on Saturday the fourth of May. He will be playing festivals in the summer uh, Richard thanks so much for being here what it's are you, a great pleasure what are you going to sing us out with? I'm going to do a cover of uh, Like a Ship which is an old gospel song from 1971 ok let's the, continue the biblical theme Thank you so much. It's a great pleasure. Good luck with the show, man. Okay, that's Richard Ashcroft uh, turning up uh, half past five this morning to Sanchez, rehearsing all weekend for that. Another round of applause for Richard and the band. Thank you so much indeed for being our first live guest on our brand new show on Virgin Radio. Uh, thanks to Richard, lead vocals and guitar. Sean Genicky on guitar. Ben Trigg, keys and cello. Steve Sidling, sidling, drums. Thank you very much indeed, Steve. Uh, David Minchella, bass and vocals. Cheers, Dave. Ellie Cato and Brian Chambers, Simon King and Valerie Etienne, the backing choir, the BBs, the mighty BBs. Thank you to all of you. Thanks to the rest of our guests this morning. Thank you all for being here. Thank you, Faye Ripley, for being here. Don't make me go. No, you can stay, stay. Stay, stay all week. I will, uh, apparently. Uh, Cold Free Series 8, Episode 2 continues tonight, 9pm on ITV Catch Up on Episode 1 on the ITV Hub. Uh, thanks to Rob and Romesh for being here. Thank you, guys. Oh, thanks for having us. Good luck with the new thank show. You. You're always welcome. Seriously. Oh, thank thank you. Thank you. I think they're talking about giving you a show or something after this morning. If you want to do one, there's lots here, apparently. Um, <laughs> okay. uh, Paul Whitehouse, thanks, Paul, for being thanks, here. Thanks, Chris. Uh, see Paul play the role of Grandad in Only Fields and Horses to Musical. Uh, at the Theatre Royal Haymarket in London from Saturday the 9th of Feb. And um, by the way, Rob versus uh, Rob and Rush versus Usain Bolt, Friday 25th of Jan, 9 pm Sky One. All right. You have all been awesome. All Requests uh, Monday, International All Request Monday begins uh, after the news. 9.30 till 10, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. It's International Qu all, Re all Request Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. Call now if you are listening overseas, abroad. We'll take some UK calls as well, but we're looking for those far-flung people listening to the show which is available 100% of the time uh, on 100% of the planet and here's your number it's uh, plus four four zero triple three double zero triple three double zero international all request Monday starts for the first time after the news on DAB digital radio on the app and on virginradio.co.uk, this is Virgin Radio News. It's 9.32. These are your headlines. Ditching the controversial Irish backstop from the EU withdrawal agreement is reported to be a key part of Theresa May's plan to get Brexit back on track. But the Lib Dem leader, Sir Vince Cable, has insisted the measure to prevent a hard border with Ireland must remain part of the deal. Economic abuse and controlling behaviour are to be included in a new definition of domestic abuse. It's part of an overhaul of legislation in England and Wales. Four men are being held over a car bomb explosion in Derry on Saturday night. Police made two further arrests yesterday following the attack outside the courthouse. Almost half of young women are said to be regularly delaying their smear tests. Joe's Cervical Cancer Trust says many don't go because they feel scared, vulnerable and embarrassed. And those who were up early this morning got the best glimpse of what's known as a super blood wolf moon. The rare phenomenon is caused by a lunar eclipse and makes the surface appear reddish in colour. Those are your headlines on Virgin Radio. All right, thank you, Rachel. And Vassos joining me for the next half an hour. Looking for calls from all over the world. Welcome to the first ever International All Requests Monday. Plus four four zero triple three double zero triple three double zero. Come in, John from New Zealand. Good morning, John. Good morning, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope you understood what we said. <laughs> no, we did. So, noisy. so we know your name's John. Uh, who's with you? Uh, where exactly are you? And what on earth are you up to? Well, um, I, with me, I've got Victoria, my daughter, 
I've got Jordan, her boyfriend, and I've got Claire, my lovely wife, of uh, 32 years. Mm -hmm. And um, we're from Felixstowe in Suffolk, uh -huh. but we now live in the most beautiful place in the world, which is Taupo in New Zealand. So and why did you... Huge lake. Why did you go there? Um, I wanted a better life. Right. Sounds terrible, doesn't it? No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> geography does it for you. Well, I used to hear on your radio show occasionally about New Zealand, and I thought that was one of the places. Right, so, so, and, uh, so how, did, how did you pick specifically where you are now? Uh, well, we did the camper van. We had the T5 <laughs> um, camper van, and we went round New Zealand. Yeah. Uh, we just thought it was a fantastic place, and we thought, hang on, I don't want to do plumbing and heating anymore, so we decided to go to New Zealand. So what do you do now? I'm retired. I have a... My hobby's building houses in the UK. Really? Very long arms. OK, what can we play for <laughs> Very you? Very long. Sorry? What can we play for you? Um, I'd love you to play It's a Kind of Magic from the wonderful Queen. All right, and remind us, who's in the background again? Uh, it's for uh, Victoria, Jordan, Claire, and me, John, all my family in the UK, um, Ken and Laurie, etc., oh. and Tom Dyer. Beautiful. Thanks so fun. much. Thank you very much indeed. Thanks for being here. It's a kind of magic. It's a kind of magic. Queen, it's a kind of magic. So what are you listening to now on the Virgin Radio Breakfast Show? International Virgin Radio. Pull request Monday. Absolutely. Uh, so plus four, four, triple three. Double zero, triple three, double zero from around the world, please. International or request Monday. Uh, what have you got there, Vass? I have some texts. This one from Karen Crocker. Good morning, Chris and the team. Wow, I didn't realise how much I missed you all. So glad to have you back. I have that warm and fuzzy feeling listening to you guys. Oh. Thank you, Karen. Welcome back, she says, to my bedroom, my old friends. Easy. Nicola, hello, team. We've navigated our way around tuning into Virgin Radio to listen to you. Once upon a time, I wouldn't have left your old place but it's great to set sail on this new adventure with you you're sounding fabulous i think i will be staying thank you nicola please do and hello chris and the team says anna maxwell i have made the switch to virgin this morning i feel a bit of a rebel but it feels quite refreshing all at the same time you're sounding wonderful thank you anna thank you all all right so dave evans is in portugal good morning dave good morning chris how are you very well uh, whereabouts in portugal are you we're at a little place called Alvor, just uh, west of Portimao. Okay, are you there permanently or, or temporarily? Will we ever see you again here? Uh, we make a quick, quick trips back to the UK, but we we settled out here a year ago last September. Right. For retirement. Okay, so the first year is the honeymoon period. Um, you know, uh, how are you feeling? Uh, we're a absolutely fantastic. The greatest news is my son... Mm -hmm. Same name as Christopher back in the UK. <laughs> has just had a baby yes. on the 19th, and they've called him Oscar. So, All right. So we're due back very soon to give him a big hug. All right, pal. Well, good luck uh, to him and uh, to you guys generally as a family. So, live from Portugal, what would you like to hear on International All Request Monday? It was REM uh, losing my religion. Okay, pal. Thanks for calling. Obrigada.